Hello and welcome to another 3D survey tutorial. Today we'll check out a very interesting new feature that got implemented in 2.18 version. Ever wanted to select just the points of your point cloud that match a certain color? Well that's exactly what you can now do in 3D survey 2.18. This exciting new feature is found in the Point Cloud tab under Selection. Click this little arrow here to open the drop down menu and select By Color. New window pops up and your pointer changes to Eyedropper. Now you can simply click anywhere on your Point Cloud and the points of desired color will be selected. The amount of selected points is furthermore adjusted by the Tolerance slider. The higher the tolerance, the more points are selected. Generally, we anticipated two main use cases for this feature point cloud cleanup and color based classification. Now, let's look at some scenarios where you can make use of this feature. It often happens that we get some points of unwanted color in our 3D model. Grass and sky are quite common to cast false color on the edges of our point cloud model. Our 3D mesh algorithm takes care of noise like this to a certain degree, but for best results, it's best to remove such points. Let's go right into it. Here we have a result of videogrammetry provided by our Avid user. Nice work, but there's very little you can do to avoid getting sky colors on the edge of statues like this. But with this new feature, we'll take care of this in less than a minute. We go to selection and click this little down arrow here. And you'll notice this new option, select by color. Your cursor changes to eyedropper and a little window pops up. When live preview is activated, you'll see the headlight effect as you go over the point cloud. When you choose and click a point, all in a similar shade will get highlighted. Now you can already confirm the selection or you can adjust it further with a tolerance slider. You can see we have a wide spectrum of blue here, so we'll do the dark shade first, click apply, and now we'll add the lighter tone as well. Here we decrease the tolerance so we don't select too much points. This time we can click OK to finish our selection. All that's left to do now is delete. And now we got this clean horse statue model. Another use case is classification by color. This can be used for roofs, greens, asphalt, anything of specific color really. And in our case it's solar panels. Same workflow as before. When we get our selection right, we simply confirm it. Then we go to our point cloud, right click and find a command Set class to selected points. We have a set of standard codes here, but you can also come up with a new one. Now all of your selection got its own class. If you want, you can also do a little cleanup. Select the points you don't want and move them to another class. And this is it for this tutorial. I hope you found this feature useful as we do. And if you have another use for it, Please let us know.